hello everyone in previous lecture we have learned how we can add the button in applet in this lecture we will learn one more component of awt that is text field right after the text field we will also add the component text area both are the same in which we can add the text but there is a minor difference between these two fields the first is text field component right and that is also a awt component right this awt component is available in java.awt package we will add this component in applet right same as previous example first we will create one applet for that i am creating one java class in the same package awt example right we can create the class by right clicking on the awt example new java class right now here i will give the name of the class in which i will implement the applet and text field for example i am giving the name text demo right this is the class name right now here you can see the package is created right inside the package the class text demo is created again i am removing all the extra comments so that the code will be clearly visible right now i have to create the applet for making it applet i will write extends applet because the text demo will be the subclass of applet so that this class will work as applet right now you can see the red line because we have to import this class also now by alter enter you can add the applet class java dot applet dot applet now inside the applet class i will override the method of applet which is public void init method inside that i will initialize the object or set the size of the applet now inside the init method i will set the size and initialize the components which i will show on the applet first i will remove this yellow mark by adding the override annotation right now inside this i will use the method set size for setting the size of the applet set size method will take two parameters height and width this height and width will specify the height and width of the applet for example in this i will set the size 300 by 300 so the size of applet will be 300 by 300 so the size is set now now i will create the object of text field for creating text field i have class in java that is a text field and which is available in java.awt package now you can see the red line you can remove the red line by importing the class text field and right? if you click the or you can press the alter enter so there will be suggestions for removing this red line i have created four text field t1 t2 t3 and t4 because i will use the four constructor now i have removed the red error by importing the text field class right you can see here now i will initialize these four objects t1 t2 t3 and t4 right now for initializing i will use the new keyword for creating object t1 equal to new text field right this is the syntax of the of creation of object t1 equal to new class name means the text field as a parameter i will give nothing here i will use for constructor here of the text field there are more constructors constructors are available in text field but for example i am using for constructor here first i am using the empty constructor that will create the empty text field now t2 equal to new text field in the bracket i will use the parameter right and that will be a different constructor than the first one t1 
in the bracket I will give parameter integer or column and rows or I can give the string value right here I am giving the value of columns right now the t2 will be created text field and the column size will be 20 in t3 for syntax for creating text field t3 equal to new text field right this is the basic syntax of creating object t1 equal to new class name right in place of class name we are writing text field right this is my third constructor as a third constructor i am giving the size of string size of string not the value of string here i am writing enter your name this is my third constructor which takes the parameter string first one was empty second one has taken the value of columns which i have given in integer third one has taken the value string which i have given the enter your enter your name right now t4 equal to new text field here i will use the fourth constructor in this fourth constructor i will take two parameters one is string and another is the size of column right there is a fourth constructor also available with two parameters first is string and second is size of column right first i am entering enter your enrollment number right this is my first parameter and second is the size of column i will specify the number of columns as the size of the text field these two parameters are given in the same sequence because it is specified in the constructor of text field first is string and another one is integer right? that is the number of column as the number of column i will specify the value that is Eighty, right this is the value of number of column now for displaying this text field I have to add all this text field inside the applet for that I will use the method add for every text field I have to separate add method because it it does not support all the text field inside one add method you have to add one by one add t1 right add t2 add t3 and add t4 right these are the four components which i have added inside the applet after adding it if we run the applet we can see the four text field over there and the size you must see I have given the 300 by 300 and moreover you can see the one text field is the size of 20 column and another is 80 now I am running this code after running you can see the text fields are here right the one is the size of 80 columns which is uh, exceed the size of the applet and right? first is the empty right this is the default size of the text field the next text field is given the size of 20 columns third one is according to the string and fourth one is the size of 80 columns and the string is given enter your enrollment number right you can see the size of the fourth text field is exit then the size of the applet that's why i have to maximize some of the size of the applet now you can see the four different text field with according to the various constructor of the text field default size 20 column then the fixed size according to string the fourth one is the 80 columns now this was the example of text field right after the text field we will see one more example of text area right in this same example i will add text area text area class is available inside the awt package 
both are the components which can be added inside any window for example applet frame etc right this both components are available in java.awt package here i have mistake in the spelling of component let me correct this mistake component right text field and text area both are component of the java.awt package both classes are defined inside the java.awt package whatever constructors are of text field the same constructors are available for the text area more constructors are also available as of now if i implement some of the constructor of the text area and same is the text field we need to first create the object of the text area and then adding the object of the text area into the applet let us see the example of text area component which is the component of awt for that i am using the same file only same is the text field objects i will create the objects of text area for that i will use the class text area using the text area class i am declaring the objects of text area by this the various text areas will be created i have given the names a1 a2 and a3 and so and last one is a4 right these are the text area which i have taken you can see the red line here again right because the class is not imported here if you want to remove the red line right press the alt or enter select the suggestion the red line will be there here i am taking only the th three objects a1 a2 and a3 because i have already taken the four objects in the text area field for a1 a2 and a3 and a4 right i will initialize all four objects up same as the text field right the creation of object syntax will be the same a1 equal to new text area right a2 equal to new text area a3 equal to new text area and a4 equal to new text area but the syntax will be different in the case of constructor right new text area first i will select the blank text area right i will not pass the any value inside the text area right so this is the blank text area now let me take the another one text area that is a2 in this text area i will use the another constructor for initializing this one thing you should remember that without initializing we cannot add that component if you directly adding that component it will show an error which we have seen in the text in the button example here you can see in this constructor i have passed two values one is for rows and another is for columns so in text area will there will be this one rows and this one columns here i have specified the value 3 and 4 there will be three rows and four columns now for the third text area i will use the parameter string i will specify the string value as the parameter so the first constructor is taking no values second constructor is taking two values one is integer and another one is also integer and third constructor is taking the value string right this is a single value now if you run this code you can see the text area but before that we have to add this text area using the add method without this the component will not be added in applet for that we have to use the add method add a1 in the bracket a1 add in the bracket a2 and then add in the bracket 
a3 right after this method add execution we can see the text area component in the applet now let us run this code after saving this code if i run this code right i am running this code by right click you can use the shift plus f6 also now you can see the text areas are given below but the because of the exceed of the size i have to maximize the screen of the applet here you can see the three text areas are given right first is the default size and right? this text area is of default size second one is three columns and four rows right you can see there are three columns and four rows and the fourth one is the default size and the text is given enter address right generally text areas are used for entering address so this was the example for text area and text field both are the components of awt package in next lecture we will learn more components like text field and text area we will add those component into applet Thank you.